So just in case you weren't able to get that working for you before, I'll show you the um, hard way and then I'll show you the easy way. So the hard way is to actually go back to all the blocks and pull the pieces out that you need. Wait for them to be highlighted. I'll choose the down arrow this time. And then go back to dark blue motion and go down to change Y by 10. And with the down arrows pressed, if I just type in three here and run it and press the down arrow, the cat goes up. So in order to fix that, and I just say change Y by negative three. Okay. And now while the script is running, I just, it goes down and it goes up. Okay. So if I want to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to stop that. I can actually right click on this if and say duplicate and it duplicates everything from that point down. Okay. And so now I can change this to say the right arrow and this to say the left arrow and these pieces are already here. Now I don't want to change Y so I'll throw those pieces away. I can just drag them over here or if you put them here and then say delete you can do that as well. And now I want to say change X and I need two of them so I'll get one change X there and one change X there and I'll change it by three and I'll change it by three. Um, there we go. And then I need to include it into my script so it all happens inside the forever loop when the green flag is clicked. So I'll do that now. So my up works, my down works, my right works, and my left goes right. So I need to go to my left arrow area. And I probably could have figured this out mathematically beforehand. But here I want to put negative 3 so that with the, when I press the left arrow, which I will test now, then it moves left. So now right, left, up, and down. 